boom what is up guys welcome back to another video first one of the summer summer 2023 getting kicked off we're gonna be at 5k subs by in this summer hopefully but anyways me and canyon we're at the james residence today reviewing the new 2023 men's grooming sampler pack which comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 fragrances, uh, body wash, and like aftershave. So super excited. We've already taken most of the fragrances out, but that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be ranking all of these in their sampler size, and I guess Canyon, he has his notes app pulled up. We're going to review them all and determine what the best fragrance is from this set. So putting that off to the side got to jump right into it you guys obviously loved the ranking all of my fragrances video but now today is different you know what let's start off with hugo boss this is not a part of the set but we're throwing it in because shout out to my boy byron if you're watching this video um works at dillard's in Asheville, and hugo boss we're gonna just include this because canyon bought a sampler of it today pacific yeah pacific oh Ah, fly away. That smells so good. Okay. That's a limited release. Limited, yeah. It's only going to be here till August. So. That's a fantastic <sighs> summer scent. Mm. I'm going an eight. I'm going an eight. Nothing crazy. Very citrusy. You're going to the 10. If we're going. If I'm thinking of like a summer scent, that's like. That's an eight seven. Eight point seven? Yeah. I love it. All right. All right. Well, we're we're starting off strong. Next one. Now we're getting to the full presentations. We got K Eau de Toilette by Dolce & Gabbana. This is all otherwise known as King. Uh, this masculine fragrance is a vibrant fusion of Italian citruses embraced by burning aromatic notes, deepening into noble cedar wood, unforgettable for the senses. I mean, this better be good. So if you have it, if you have the audacity to write up something like that. Oh, and it comes in a nice little K EDT bottle. We didn't have any tester strips, unfortunately. We kind of sold, so I think me and Canyon are just going to catch this mid-air, mid-whiff. And, oh, where did it go? Oh, I got it. Did you get it? Let me see. It's on the side of the bottle. <laughs> it's very windy out here today. That's actually pretty good. That's not bad That's at all. smell like, though. I... It's so, got some spice in it. Yeah, Italian <clears throat> citrus is man. Um, okay. Not bad. I'm going to seven. That's what I was gonna say, actually. Nice. We're on the same wavelength. That was a good. That was uh, pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, which one do I pick out of here? I guess we'll go in order. Azaro Chrome. Um, that's kind of a weird bottle. Yeah, this is a weird looking. <clears throat> Presentation. Weird little casing. Yeah. Let's crack it open. Ugh. Oh. Whoa. Not a fan. This smells like a certain kind of lotion. Like a uh, Yeah, it literally smells like I have ashy ashy elbows. <laughs> I need to get done up in the bathroom before I go out. So I just sit there and rub my elbows down. Um, I mean, it's not like a bad smell. It's just yeah, not something you'd want to wear. I'm going a four. That is not... I was going to say a, a five. A five? I mean, the smell of it's not bad. It's just... Yeah. Mm. It's not great. I'll put it, it that way. It smells like one of my mom's lotions. Body lotions. We ain't trying to... Um, A five? Yeah, I think that's solid, I guess. Okay, the next one. We're moving yeah. on. These are these are samplers, folks. This ain't gonna be like no fifty minute video. Like not well, not really. But oh, oh, we are dropping stuff everywhere. Next one, Mont Blanc Explorer by Mont Blanc. It is supposed to be a clone of Creed Adventus, which is like four hundred dollars. So we'll see how this lives up to the test. Let's just smell it straight out of atomizer. Yeah. This is like 80 bucks, by the way, too. You gotta... I think this is something we also will probably talk about more as the video goes <clears> on, <throat> but... The samplers, man. I think that's a solid date. 
Nah, the pri the price of a full bottle, you guys might be wondering, just depending on how we rank them. But this one, most of these so far are going to come in around the eighty dollar um, range. I don't think any of them that we've reviewed are going to be probably right around the eighty eighty five range. So I like that a lot, considering that I know that it's supposed to clone something and what I know the original smells like. If I gave the Hugo Boss an eight, I'm giving this an eight point five. It's a very solid scent. I really like it. Seven eight. Seven point eight. I like it too. All right, moving along. What in the kelp, Terry? Um, this is what? I have never heard of this. MCM. Onyx. Oinx. Onyx. Onyx. <clears throat> Ooh. That's kind of... That's kind of off-putting. Oh, Let me see the... Transport yourself to another world. MCM Onyx takes you on a transformative journey between the lines of real and virtual. Handpicked ginger and spice is open with a jolt of energy to reveal aromatic lavender at the heart. A dry down of radiant sensual woody notes adds a modern masculinity and long lasting minerality. What? I can't tell. What am I about to get? What are we about to smell? Where did. What? Okay. Now it's on my phone. That's not bad. Do you smell it? It's really not bad. That's really actually not terrible. No. It smells... Kind of smells like Sprite. I don't know. Kind of weird. I'll go with a seven. It's not terrible. I'm feeling I'm feeling good rankings today, folks. Six, gonna, eight. A six, eight. I'm six, a, no, six, four, nine. All right. That's a... Oh boy. You can't go wrong with this. Definitely not. Really um, can't. Next one, one million. Most people know what this is. Paco Rabanne. I've seen it before. Yeah, big gold bar. 500. A provocative, sexy, and fresh, spicy leather accord, daring, and dubbing. I like spicy stuff, so. I can't, yeah. Most of these. Can't really spray it in the atomized bop bop. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. You talking about some spice. I, yeah, that is spice. Like on steroids right here. I like that actually a lot. Yeah, me too. That's actually very solid. <clears throat> oh, so. But a boom. Um. Eight two? An eight two? I'd go an eight three. Okay. That might be the best one with I could roll with it. Yeah, that one's very good. Actually I'll go to an eight one. Eight point one. Gosh dang it, Kylo. Kylo's trying to hack the video. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. We also have one million all over the phone lens, but we must keep trucking you on. Much, you can't get much better than that, bro. Like, Oh, definitely not. Not time sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. All right. Moving on. They hit the spots. Bulgari Man Rain Essence EDP. Um, I've heard... I've never smelled this, but I've heard a little bit about it. I know that a YouTuber I watch recommended it for the summertime this year. Oh, it's got springs in it. What the heck? That's weird. All right. Boom, boom. Whoa. I didn't catch it. Pop. Yeah, I'm not just... This is very unconventional. I like having a full bottle where I can sit there and spray it on a tester, Whoa. but... What does it smell like? I don't know, but I don't know how to feel about it either. Mm. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's just... Yeah... I'm going six. Doesn't wow me, but it doesn't. I don't hate it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll go six too. I already know this next one because it's one of the like. I think me and Canyon I don't were know talking how I feel about that. Yeah, it's kind of mid, low key. Um, me and Canyon were talking, and this is like one of three that I personally own out of this set. It is Jean-Paul Gutierrez Labou and a couple of the dudes from Happy Hall were this door spring formal because it is, I don't even need to smell it. 
I'm not gonna spray it because I don't mean to smell it. <laughs> this is that is my go-to summer fragrance for the summer of 2023. Personally, Should I give the boss an eight seven. This is about an eight five to me. Okay, okay. I like it. Great citrusy summertime. I'm going Sam. nine. Nine, nine, nine point three. Ooh. I really like that. I didn't even need to smell it. Um, My man just knows. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Um, gosh. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, they put all these in here for a reason. You can't put, like, that just one terrible... The, Pacific, the Boss Pacific is my two favorite summertime so far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bless you. thanks. Kylo came out here and just... Shout out to Byron. He tries to get to get us to smell this one about every time we come here. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, Da Vinci Society. Um, gosh, it just blew back into my face. You see, this is a very unconventional setup. So drop a like Hold and on. a comment. Smell it now. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's... That is good. That's actually really good. Yes. I'm going 8.5. That's stout. An 8. Okay. That's good. Yeah. At first it smelled like like just straight alcohol. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Gosh. That eight, is, no, 8.2. Eight 8.2. Two. Eight two. Bumping it up. That's one of our highest ratings so far. You got the citrus and the like a little bit of the woods in there. Yeah. We got Burberry Hero, folks, balling on a budget. Not on a budget. Well, God, that's Burberry. You can't but. go wrong with this. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, we... This ain't the new one, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's in my eye. <laughs> Gosh. You see, the no tester strips, Andrew, if you're watching this, he took. He took like all the tester strips we had, or he stole them from a Bath and Body Works, and I was able to use them in all my videos. And now, now they're gone. So I left them at school. seven eight. A seven eight. Yeah, I'll go seven <clears throat> four. Like this is something that like isn't gonna cost you a lot necessarily, but well, you'll get a compliment with it. Yeah, you will. I know half the people watching this video just want the compliments. Thanks. And they just so get yeah. some boss specific. Oh, this is boss bottled. So we already have boss specific. This is another Hugo boss. I already know this is about to smell like what does it say? Mandarin incense, cedarwood, leather. Whoa. You just peppered me with that. You can smell it good? Yeah, it's like all over the side of my face. Oh, gosh. I don't hate that. I'll be right back. We gotta take a brief intermission. I'm gonna give that a... What do you... That's like... I don't know. That's real spicy. <clears throat> Dang it, Kylo. Honestly... This one's definitely for like a fall. And the, the first one, which was the boss... Uh, the boss pacific is the, the limited edition was the spring and summertime this is a a fallish date night mm. i like it more than the burberry hero actually well yeah what did i give burberry hero seven four i'll give that a seven nine seven nine yeah that's what i was gonna give it nice <laughs> Cause I think it's like one, like literally a little bit better, not much. Yeah. Better than it. Yeah. That's, that's Versace kind of Eros EDT. What people? Look, look, it's like all over the phone. Oh, um, it's on. It's on my gosh. People regard this to be the best clubbing scent of all time. Like if you're going out on a date, or you're going to the club, or going to a dance. It's got a bunch of like mint, apple. This thing's like crazy sweet, like mad sweet. So I already know this is. This is about to be crazy. Bop, 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 why? Whoa. I... I'm getting a decent gander at that. Um, this is not kind of nice. 
it's definitely not bad. It's very popular. A lot of people like it. I already got my raking in my head, though. No. I'm giving it a seven one. Lord, have mercy. Mm, no, I like yes. it more. I like it more than Burberry, which I gave a seven four. So I'm gonna go a seven five. Seven eight. Okay. I see you. I, I see feel you. like that could move up though. Like oh. I feel like if I see. Oh boy. Well, I thought that 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 would have that could eventually move up. Well, next up we have Armani Code, which if you know anything about me, Canyon, or my dad, like it, literally any of us. Oh, you could. This would be the this would be the only time you could. Anywho, Armani Code, um, Parfum Edition, the new one. It's been around for probably it was before I was born, but this is the new release. A lot fresher, a lot. Heck, they barely gave us any, but oh, heck, that's a good atomizer. Gosh, it's darn good. Nine five. A nine five. This, I mean, Lord have I'll mercy. I'll go a nine five as well. I don't know how Lord you can have mercy. That is just. There's certain people in this. You're gonna get mad compliments from females yes. if you wear that. I can like to that. Yeah. Canyon has more personal experience with it than I do, but... Women love it. Yeah. God. Absolutely. Go get it. That's a solid 9.5. That... Wow. That was a banger. Is that my first 9? Uh, yes. Your previous high score was the... 8.7. An 8.7 from Hugo Boss. 8.7 to 9.5. All right, Valentino, born in Roma. <clears throat> Counting them down here. We're getting towards the very end already. But uh, some of these are pesky and they open up, and then others just don't want to open up at all. So shout out to the companies that care about their consumers. <laughs> Valentino, I know this is about to be... Oh, never mind. You just barely have to squeeze it. It'll come out on your hand. This is like in like a pink and black. Yeah. That's very interesting. I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like even though this is like a men's scent, it smells like it's for women. Yeah. But like it's a good scent. Any Valentino mm. fragrance I've heard is going to be very sweet like that. Mm. I'd put this like in the eight tier for a woman. Yeah. A, a woman could put where this. I'm going to say for like a man, like a seven. Like, I literally said exactly seven as well. Nothing crazy, but. But for a female. Do we need even need to smell the next one? Do we need to? I'm gonna try not to be well, biased here. YSL EDP. Um, all it is. Time. Yes. And all this time is right. Canyon's like all time go to favorite. This is a top five, top three for me personally in my whole collection. Ever since the Asheville. Uh, oh. Heck, Terry, what is the, the atomizer Bill on Square this? Mall in the Asheville. Yep. Perfume paired up. Dude. The citrus is just nailed perfectly. Yep. I gave Armani a 9.5. I did too. And they're two completely opposite scents. Yeah. Armani's straight spice. Date night. This is like summer citrus. Yeah, you wear it out maybe. You Definitely spring. I think it's a very springy, summery. It's so hard because they're two completely different things. But I love both of them so much. Mm. I'm going to 9-4. I gave Armani a 9-5. I'm giving this a 9-4. 9-6. Oh! That's gonna, I'm trying not to that be. Might, that's going to average out, I think, to be. I'm, well, I'm try, it's going to average out to tie with Armani Code. How I'm trying not to. But it's just. Thomas Cosmala, number four. Um, if you guys. You spray this on more than twice on your skin and you're in a room, everyone will be dead. Rest in peace to your <laughs> nostrils and Bob Marley because. Oh my, they filled this thing up. This is the most fragrance we've gotten. This is two milliliters. Wow. Well. This company d only makes like per, what? Per, only makes like straight perfumes, pretty much. Yeah. I even say the stuff they make for men is considered perfume just because of how concentrated. And this is number four in the line. Cameron won my number 10. I used to own it, but I no longer do. Um, we have the number four candy. 
Yeah, this ain't no candy, though. Oh. Yeah, this is not. Oh, got on my hand. Gosh. These scents so far, <laughs> this blows my nose off because it is the most strong. I've heard it's it is. It's the sweetest scent. They make the sweetest scents you could ever. This imagine. is sweet, but it's also like number 10 because it's. They smell really similar. It's very, like, it's like a cigarette and, like, sweetness and bam. That's what I'm smelling. It doesn't smell bad. It's, it's not bad like at all. a lot to take in. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. good. It's, they smell really similar, this and the They do. Oh. Um. Hmm. <sighs> I'm like, a I'm lot gonna, of my scores have been like in the eight. Yeah. Like, like seven. Let me see what I've ranked this compared to other things. I've given a lot of high rankings. Like, I've not given very many low. Yeah, we've not had one that smells like terrible. I'm going to give this like a... Mm, solid seven, nine. Okay. Because like the scent's good, it's just... A I'll go 8.3, because why the heck not? If you spray too much of that on, you, people might be telling you to leave the room. Literally. Like, it's... Cameron likes to spray his number 10 a good bit, and <laughs> I think if he sprayed number 4 a ton, I think everybody's noses would be inflamed. Aqua de Joe, uh, this is the EDP. The EDT is the best-selling men's fragrance of all time. Um, I know... A man by the name of Fish, Tyler Fish, that loves this stuff. So, or at least the EDT. Same people that make Armani code. It just makes sense. Oh. Yeah. I own a sample of this at home for the summertime. Wore it. I think Aqua literally. Joe is just solid. Like. Yeah. I don't it's, think it's like something that like. It's not going to blow you out of the water like the Hugo or a Prada. But it's good. Like, yeah. It's, good. it's just, so, it just get, it gets the job done. It'll probably sneak in a compliment or two. Um, yeah. Eight, five? No, eight, five. Eight, four. I'll give it just eight. a straight up eight. Eight, four, eight. Eight, eight, two. I'll eight, two. All right. It's, it's good. It's solid. All oh, man. Oh, man. Solid. Oh, man. I'm excited for this. We have saved some of the best ones for last, actually. Ralph's Club by Polo Ralph Lauren. This is their... They're, no, they're known for, obviously, their Polo Blues, the Polo Reds, the Polo Greens. But this is, from what I have smelled, this is like date night for Polo. Gosh, <laughs> dang. Well, I know what it smells Are like. exactly. Yeah. Some of these atomizers, this is the only risky thing about getting a small bottle like this. Some of them barely waft out, and you have to go chase Kylo and Otis all the way to the yard to smell it. And then this one just got, dang. This is, will scream at you like a, a suit. Yeah, you're in a nice suit and tie. Probably going. Head, maybe heading to the club. Going to the club. That's why it's called a Ross Club. Or maybe going to a nice dinner at a Ruth Chris Steakhouse in Asheville. I'm going to like to see what you give this. It's elegant. It's nice. It's the same. I think it does the same job as Armani. I'm going to give this the same score as Aqua de Joe. 8.2. Mm, I don't know. I'll go 8. Smell it now. Ooh, I'll go 8.5. I enjoy that. 8.3. I enjoy that. I actually kind of like it more than Aqua de Joe, barely. Saving the best for last, like I, I have four. Say, yeah, we got two left. All right, we got three, actually. actually. Polo Blue Parfum. Shout out to Andrew Allenberger. This is his pride and joy. Um, he loves this stuff. I think the only polo. It's already leaking out on me. I, didn't even I have think to the only it. polo I've ever smelled is a green. Yeah, this is, this is good. I really this like. smells better than green. I like that a lot. This is a good, like... I did not think I would like this this much. Good nighttime, summertime scent. Let me see how many... Oh. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm running this with a 9-1. A, a summertime night. Mm, I enjoy this. 
I'm gonna give this like a. Um, eight. An eight five. Okay. It was. That's a very that's solid. That's actually good. I gave two nines and two very high ones. This is good. I feel like if I wore this and throughout the day, it would grow you, on me more. It lasts all day, I'll good. tell you that. I can, me and Ann are both. <laughs> Two more to go. Azaro, the most wanted parfum. We smelled our, our Zaro Chrome. Now, I would say like anything I'm uh, scoring above like a 7-7 seven, seven is like worth having. This is, okay. What is this? If you can, if, okay, if you can think back. I'm Where's trying the to, thing at? Where's the case? Uh, right there. Oh, my elbow. Um, If you can think back, Canyon, there was two. It was that younger dude in Dillard's. There was two Azaro fragrances we smelled. One of them I liked more, and one of them you liked more. And the yeah. guy, the younger guy, also liked it more. This is one of those. Either the one you like more or the one I like more. Can you remember? One of them's more powdery, I think. I think, I don't know, this one's really sweet, and it smells really good. It's a great scent. This is really sweet, but it smells better than number four. Yeah. Like it, it's not It's not as sweet, but it's up there. It does the sweetness. But I think yeah. it smells better. This is the one you like more. Uh, yeah. I'm going to 9-3. I enjoy that a good deal. A good deal. Um, Gosh. Eight. Gosh. Whoa. Eight. Seven. This yeah. is good. The, honestly, if you, most, like some, if you want something really sweet, but like is... Not in an off-putting way. Yeah. Like, so, they've nailed this. Yeah. Sweetness. They did it. They did it. They did it. Like, it's really sweet, but they've nailed it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Prada Ocean... I don't even need to smell it. It's already leaking out of my fingers. Um, this is the EDT that Verse recently came out with an EDP version. It smells fantastic. Oh. It went all over me. <laughs> the I, I enjoy it a lot. I think it's a great scent. It's probably my second favorite summer, summertime scent that I've smelled. I'm not going to lie. This one's good, which is the original one, but they, they have a new product, Ocean. Yeah. Which one is it? It's a EDP. And it's better. It is better. It is better. It lasts longer. It just smells a little different. This is the original. The new one smells better, in my opinion. Yeah. But both of them smell good. I, I gave... don't like this one nearly as much as you do, but I still like it. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. We're big Prada fans. Oh, yeah. Have to be. It got us into the whole fragrance game. So that and why But I got to think about Pr Prada. This stuff does not last long. Yeah, that is the only downfall. If you're going to get anything Prada, you got to give at least five squirts. Yeah. At least. I go with ten for my Prada Sport Fridays, but that it gets it gets me compliments. So well, Prada Sport's Hemothy. Prada Ocean. I gave the Labou JPG Jean-Paul Gaultier. I don't like this as much as the last one. Really? Eight, six. Okay. I gave it's the, good. Prada's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave the JPG a 9.3. I like it slightly more than that, so I'll go 9.1. The newer one, if you want this, it's the same. I prefer bottle. the new, the newer one. Yes, dude. Editor's cut. Um, we filmed the whole video one take, and then I'm now coming back in the editing process and realizing that I goofed up. I, Trevor Douglas Wester, I messed up because this is the first scent we smelled, and I gave it an eight out of ten. This is the boss. And after specific. spraying it onto the vein in my arm and calculating that I ranked 11 of the 18 fragrances <laughs> Lord higher than this, we have now come up with our top five revised edition. So, number one, <clears throat> to no one's surprise, YSL EDP. Fantastic. Second, to no one's surprise, Armani Code Parfum. Fantastic. Hugo coming Boss. Coming back in here. Yeah, coming back. Making an appearance in the top five is now Hugo Boss because 
at some point this week, I will drive to Dillard's. I will drive to Dillard's, and this is the limited edition you can only get until August. August. Thor, shout out to you. Absolutely amazing. Thor knows how to make cologne. Very big, surprising one, J gentlemen. Javinci Society just came out like April. At first, we were we thought this was okay, and then this is fantastic. Kept smelling it was actually very good. Coming in at fifth for Big O himself, Andrew Allenberger Polo Blue Parfum. That's close. That's they're interchange. Yeah, close. you don't touch the top three in my opinion, but I think the other ones are interchangeable. Um, you want to get you get one honorable mention per each of us. That's tough. You can go. One honorable mention. The only summertime scent that I've smelled that is better than the Hugo Boss is Jean Paul Gaultier's Labou. Fantastic. The boy's unhappy. I'll put it on top because, in my opinion, it's on top of Hugo Boss specific. But it's great. Coconut, bergamot, so that's your, Tonka, sweet, that's your sexy. Um, gets the job done. That's my honorable mention. Jean Paul Gaultier, Gaultier, Labou. Dude, EDT. Great. Not the EDP. EDT. It's your honorable. I think I know what your honorable mention is going to be, but we'll see. I'm stuck for real. This is a fantastic sample pack. Oh, Let me give it to them. 100% they worth $30. Yeah, they 100%. assembled some fantastic fragrances to put into a sample. There's only like two that were not good at all. Yeah. And like, for real, for real, if you're trying to start your collection, this would be a fantastic collection. I would say 11 of these are like way above average. Yeah, like you could buy full bottles of majority of these and be good. Um, if you don't own a fragrance and you are near Dillard's, I would 100% get this. You'd have so many different situational fragrances that it just works, so. I kinda like the Burberry Hero. Really? I have a full bottle of the Burberry Hero I like the Azaro better, but it's your honorable mention. I mean, that's the two I'm stuck between. This is the new Burberry Hero. I ranked the EDT, uh, the tester bottle in my other cologne video, but this is the EDP. It's definitely different. I like This it. one's definitely better. I like it much, much, much more, as is the case when you're making new releases of the same fragrance. So, I'm going the Zaro Most Wanted as my All honorable right. mention. The, very, the one I said is very sweet, but not it's bad. not too much. Like I said, fantastic stuff right here. Um, you at least a sampler of at least three of yeah, them. Yeah, at least. I just had to come back on here and make things right. So apologies for the regular video of me ranking Hugo Boss so low, but I had to make him do this. It's now rectified. We're okay. So that's been all for me. All for Canyon. Like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 5K. We'll see you very, very soon. Summertime's here. Videos every week. God, God bless. bless.